What are your biggest fears? Um, isn't that a lot for the first session? Is it? I mean, I feel like it's a bit overwhelming. Why? Um, I just, I feel like it's a lot to unpack. I kind of put all those thoughts on a bus and sent them way out of town. Well, I promise you, this is the safest environment for you to unpack them. I'll ask again. What are your biggest fears? Or even just one. Let's start with one. My biggest fear? I want to be enough for someone. I'm afraid I'll be enough until they realize I'm not. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Pretty good yeah. until you woke me up. Mm, I saw you. Wait. <sighs> so you're moving here? Yes, I am moving here. You're really, really moving here? Yes, I am really, really moving here. Is that a bad thing? No. I just, I want to make sure you're happy about it. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. You're happy about it, right? Of course I'm happy about it. I just want to make sure you're doing it for the right reason. What would be the wrong reason? I don't know. <gasps> Use your words. I just, what made you say, yes, I'm going to move to California. Uh, well, I, I love it here. I, there are a lot of job opportunities. And? And there's nothing left for me in Kansas. I mean, it feels right to move on to the next chapter. And? And my friends are here. And? And you are here. Oh, so I'm practically last on this list. <laughs> Do you want to be first? No, I, I don't want to be anyone's reason for doing anything. You didn't used to always think like that. Yeah, well, a lot's changed in a decade. A lot has happened. So it seems. Well, did you want to talk about any of that stuff? I think I'd rather know what's on the agenda for today. Well, we have one location to check out later today, but I figured we would just see where the path takes us until then. No plan? <laughs> no plans. Okay. I'm afraid of the plans I had for my life not panning out. Which seems ridiculous, because I've never had a clear path, ever. You know, not the husband, two and a half kids, dog and cat, white picket fence kind of thing. But it was always to create fall in love, create and be in love. Create? Yeah, I wanted to work in the film industry. I, I wanted to be a screenwriter. Well, you moved to a great place to pursue that. Yeah. So what's happening with that? Yeah, I, I moved to California to do both of those things, but I ended up only doing the one. It's as if the one thing prevented the other from happening. I see. My ex, Sarah, she loved me. She loved us, but um, she didn't love me thinking about anything that didn't pertain to us. Is that why it didn't work? No. Maybe it should have been. Which brings me to my next fear. Which is? Will any woman in my life stick around? Ways of real. I am totally ready to, to learn. Yes, I do. If you're going to be living. I was actually really happy. Can you do some eggs? 
Okay. We'll hook the propane up first. Okay, perfect. Um, oh my god! Okay. See, this is why it's important that you're here. Okay, so you know what? I'm just gonna I'll okay, out your way. So I need Will I ever have some sense of normalcy? You get the pan and okay. the eggs. Pan and the eggs. Got it? Got it. Okay. You brought fruit fruit snacks? Yeah, well I couldn't find the egg. Or a pan. So Okay. I think I'll just watch you do the thing. You know. I'll run to the store. Okay. Oh, I didn't even know. That's a plate. Okay, a yeah. plate. I got it. Oh, nice. I didn't even know these things come with them. Two plates. Two plates, perfect. Oh. Green, oh my God, they're matching like us. Crack an egg. Here you go. What do you need help with? How many do you want? Um, I'll start with two. Two? Two eggs. Just start with? <laughs> What's your idea of normal? I don't know. I guess I don't want to wake up in the morning wondering if this is going to be the day that she leaves. Um, okay, so I guess two eggs are... Ow! I'm done. I'm done. Okay, two eggs. Um, just gonna flop them on the plate. You flop them. They're out there. Oh, okay. Is that not enough? Two eggs doesn't look like a lot. <laughs> okay. okay, that's fine. Oh, that's your water. That's my water. Oh, that's water. That's yours. Do you, wanna, do you wanna cup? A lot of important women have left you, correct? Yeah. I came home at the age of 10 and found that my mom had packed all of her things and moved out while I was at school. Did she come back? Uh, it took about two weeks to hear from her. And by that time, she had a new apartment, a whole new life. It just, it felt like I was living in the emptiness of what she left behind. Who else left? Um, my grandparents, they, uh, they lived with us about, up until a year before she left. And, uh, my grandma was, she was like a second mom to me. So it, it felt like losing two moms in a year. Are your mom and grandma still living? No. Um, they actually died a month apart while I was in college. I feel like I get too comfortable, too happy, maybe. And then the universe decides it just needs to take someone away. So you're afraid of being happy. Why are you afraid of being happy? Did you hear me? Women leave. That's terrifying. Sarah left. You said she didn't allow you to create. Why aren't you creating now? Are you afraid of being happy? Yeah. Why? I mean, do I deserve it? Don't you think everyone does? Of course. So why don't you? I guess I haven't figured out what I've done wrong to make them leave. Obviously, I'm doing something wrong, right? 
Peyton, did your mom ever give you a reason why she left? Yeah, I know why she left. Oh, she was unhappy in the marriage with my dad. Um, she had been unfaithful, but he, he wanted to work things out. She felt trapped. She felt like she was being a, a bad mom to me. She, she was just unhappy. So she left to find happiness and to become a better mom? I'm not condoning her actions. I'm just observing what you experienced. Yeah. Why did your grandparents leave? Um, well, my grandpa retired and they moved to a new state for his retirement. He was happy there. Grandma was happy where grandpa was happy, so. So they were searching for their own happiness. Yeah. And why did Sarah leave you? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess I wasn't enough for her. She found happiness in someone else. Was she the only one to break your heart romantically? No. Um, there was someone else. I mean, there were a few. But, uh, this one, it, it hurt more than the others. What was her name? Her name was Luca. You know, for living out of a camper, I do pretty well at cooking. Yeah, I love the bag of chips. <laughs> it's the yeah. best part. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, are we going to be doing this thing until Victor's cabin? What do you mean? You know, waking up together, eating together, enjoying the day together, sleeping together. Wow. You just cut right to the chase now, don't you? Yeah, I like to be direct. Do you not want me to be direct? No, direct is good. It's fine. Okay. It's good to have directness. Okay. So what, are we like cohabitating or something? You say cohabitating, but it kind of sounds like living together. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. I can if you want. No. Do you not want to live with me? I can't tell if you're joking or not. <laughs> of course I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> but would it be a bad thing if we lived together for two weeks? I mean, we did it before. Yeah, but we had our own rooms. And it wasn't by choice. I mean, at first. You couldn't get enough of me by the end of it. Well, you can be somewhat charming. Yeah. I can be even more charming this time. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Four weeks. Like, what? A month? Kind of sounds like living together. Peyton, we're not kids in a dorm room anymore. We haven't been for a long time now. Yeah, I know. Okay, so I don't understand what the big deal is. I mean, it's four weeks, a month total. And then when we're done, you go back to your space and I go back to mine. I would want to see you when I'm back in my own space for the record. Okay, so that's a yes? Didn't I say that? No. You didn't, remember? Use your words. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Why did Luca leave? Um, I don't know. I, maybe she thought I wasn't enough for her.
Maybe she wanted to make her family happy. Or maybe she was really in love with a guy named Joey. So she was searching for her own happiness. Did you find it? We don't talk. I don't know. I mean, the pictures say she did. And I mean, pictures are worth a thousand words, right? Are all of them saying happiness? Uh, I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. It didn't work out. I moved on. I met Sarah. Which brings me to my next fear. If I thought Luca was the one, and I'm not someone to say that someone is the one, you know? But I thought she was, and I guess she wasn't. And I didn't want to meet anyone else. And then I met Sarah, and I thought she was the one. And she didn't show me any of the red flags that Luca did. I mean, she was the exact opposite. She was exactly who she said she was. She didn't play any games. It was just easier. Is love supposed to be easy? Someone told me that once, but uh, I really don't know what I believe anymore. So your fear? If the girl I thought was the one turned out not to be, how could I trust myself enough to think that the next one is the one? So, about this bathroom situation... Yeah? Where are we supposed to go for the next two weeks? Mm, outdoors. Luca. Hmm. <laughs> Walmart? Oh my god. <laughs> Peyton, you're a little... <sighs> okay, but if I start to smell, you may cut this trip short. Peyton, you smell fine. Yeah, now. I may not in a few days. We'll shower, I promise, okay? Relax. <sighs> So I've been thinking, why am I not surprised? Okay, anyway. I know we know a lot about each other's lives. We caught up about your life in the past decade, but you don't really know that much about me in the past decade. Yeah, I'm aware. Okay. I want to know whatever you want to tell me. Okay. I mean... I'm dying to know about that poly relationship. Yeah, maybe not today. Okay, fine. Whenever you want to tell me. Okay. Anything important? Mm, nope. Hey guys. Oh, hey. Luca, you wearing a frisbee today. Oh yeah, I already planned on hanging out with Peyton. Oh, Peyton, you're always welcome to come play with us. Yeah, that's not really my thing. I don't really want to watch you get all sweaty. Mm, maybe you could watch Luca get all sweaty. Don't you have film class in a half hour? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I get it. I'll leave you alone. Have fun. See ya. Really starting to like him less and less. I can see that. Anything important? Oh, mm, no. So anyways, I figured we could go. What if I don't see any red flags and then I fall madly in love and they just start coming out of nowhere? Well, it looks like our time is up for today. How are you feeling? 
uh, I'm fine, I guess. At the end of our sessions, I like to check in and see where you're at. I don't want to send you off in the world if you're feeling emotionally unsafe. We can control where you're at mentally in here, but I don't want to put you in harm's way out there. I'm fine today. And it's important to note that as well. We impact a lot today, and you're feeling okay right now. Yeah, you're right. So I'll see you next week, same time? Yeah, see you next week. Thank you.